Before moving forward with Thor, I feel that it's important to understand the design concept of Thor, that being modular synthesis. Before the Mini Moog, before the DX7, before the Roland Synths, there existed modular synthesizers. These were not small or even medium-sized synthesizers we're used to. These things took up entire walls. Modular synthesizers did have one thing in common with Reason, though. They used patch cables for control voltages, and boy, did they use a lot of them. Here's a quick example of what a modular synthesizer looks like right here. Notice the patch cables are all over the place. Notice all of the knobs. Now, as you look at that giant mess of boxes and cables, let me fill you in on a secret. You were looking at one synthesizer patch, period. It took all of these cables just to make one sound. Back in the day, you didn't necessarily buy one modular synthesizer. You bought pieces upon pieces of a synthesizer and used all of the pieces in conjunction to make one sound. What made this so cool is that if you decided you wanted more than one LFO in your sound, you could just go buy one. If you wanted two oscillators, buy another oscillator. You could also purchase additional envelopes, step sequencers, and more. But while there was a ton of flexibility with modular synthesis, it took up a lot of space and it wasn't very travel friendly. And just to recreate one patch would take a serious sheet of paper with all of your routing documentation. Thor's approach to modular synthesis is very, very streamlined. Within Thor, you can choose to employ up to three oscillators at once, which doesn't seem like many, but the choice between all of the different types of oscillators is quite extensive. For example, you can have an FM oscillator with an analog oscillator and more. You can mix and match as much as you'd like. You can not only choose to employ up to three filters, but you can choose between several different types of filters. Then you can choose how you want to route your LFOs as well as use some of the envelopes as LFOs as well. There's just an enormous amount of flexibility there. So much, in fact, that it tends to blow people's minds. But don't let it punk you out. Thor, if you understand it, is actually quite simple. It just requires understanding. And when you understand it, you've got some serious power. They don't call it Thor for nothing. <laughs>